Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you a great way of generating reports of live data coming from SharePoint lists. And what we are going to use is we're going to use a tool called SQList, which replicates all the data which is stored in SharePoint list into a SQL Server database. And then your report is going to consume data coming from SQL Server, which is going to make them more robust and make them generate faster as well. So for today's demo, we are going to use a three list product, which has title, category, unit price, and current stock. Now each product belongs to a category. So there is a list for categories and all the categories belongs to category groups, which is another list. So we have three different lists and, uh, and our objective is to generate a chart which shows all the category groups and, and the, uh, and the total unit price and current stock for all the products. So let's jump into it. Uh, before we go, we have to create a database uh, which will store all the data is, uh, coming from SharePoint list. So let's let's do that. Let's give it a name. All right. So that's all we need to do in SQL Server. Now let's let's go to SQL List Manager and let's start by creating a new application. Now, this is where we are going to define our source connection. So our source connection is basically a, a SharePoint list, SharePoint site, where all the lists are created. And I'm going to use the SharePoint list here. Uh, I'm going to use the SharePoint site, which has all the lists. Now I need to provide the credentials. I'm going to use my credentials here. Now let's test the connection to make sure it works. All right, seems to be working fine. Yep, let's go ahead. Next, now this is where we're going to select the lists which we are going to use for generating report. So we are going to quickly select individual list, but you can also select the other option which allows you to replicate all the data of all the lists. But for this demo, we're going to select the three lists that we're going to use. All right, let's see if we can find them. Yep, here it is products, categories, and category groups. All right, let's move on. Now this is where we need to define our destination, which is our SQL Server database. We just created so let's just give it the same name SQL. now this is where we need to define our database server details so this is my database server my database name is the database which i just created and again the credentials Right, so, and once you generate these connections, you can reuse them later on as well. Right, let's test it out. Okay, it seems to be working fine. Let's click next. And lastly, we need to give our application a name as well. Let's call it product lists replication. And since we have checked this, it will automatically start replicating the data once we click on finish. So let's click that. And if I go to service monitor, you will see that our replication has kicked off and it should now generate all the tables in our database. So let's just quickly check if it does that. Let's refresh it. All right, so you can see we have all our three lists stored in these tables, products, categories, and category groups, which is good. And now that we have the data in SQL, let's go to Power BI and generate our first report. Okay, so let's start off by getting data from SQL Server. And here, again, we need to provide the details of our SQL Server which is my instance name, 
and my database. You can select it as well. And for this one, I'm going to use direct query instead of importing data. All right, uh, let's see if our tables, okay, we need to select these three for, for the demo, product, categories, category groups, yeah. And let's load it up. Now we we are going to get all three step all these three tables in our model, but we still need to define the relationships in order for the relations to work. Now let's go to our relationship manager. It has all the three tables. Okay, so this is category, this is category group, and this is product. Now we know that category ID belongs to category, so let's just sh sh shift them a bit to make it easier to understand yep so our category id belongs to category let's click ok and the category group here belongs to the id in category group table so make let's make that relationship yep that's fine and we have defined relationships now let's go to the visuals and generate our report we're going to use a bar chart for that and let's select now what we need is category groups so this is the category groups and then we need title from category group and we need the sum of our unit price and current stock all right so as you can see it's pretty easy to generate a chart from uh, using this data now let's let's try to change something in our list and see if it gets uh, synchronized and appears here so let me create a new item let's say all right so let's call them CDs and give it 100 and let let's say I have uh, I have stored 2000 CDs now okay where does this go let's call let's say I have bought 2000 video games <laughs> uh, it's Christmas time and I just got a bit nutty so I just bought 2000 CDs of video games Right, so you can see that the count has increased here. Now let's see if this gets uh, updated. Okay, it might take a few seconds. Ah, as you can see, since I have stored a huge amount of CDs, so now my digital products has increased. All right, and it, it can show that the data is getting synchronized properly. Now, next up, there's another way of generating reports and that's using SQL Server views instead of getting the data directly from database. So let's generate a view here. And we're going to use that view in our report instead of tables, which will also help us to uh, reduce the amount of time it takes to generate relationships. And it's going to be much faster as well. Let me just remove that. I'll go to my model and remove all the tables because I don't need them anymore. All right, now let's get, this. let's use the same connection that we just did. And let's see if it helps me. Oh, oh, I have to cancel that because I wanted to use direct query instead. <laughs> That's fine, it shouldn't take long. All right, so now I'm going to select my view instead of the tables. 
and you'll see that it is much faster to, to use views instead of tables because it makes things pretty easy. So now all I need to do is select my chart and I know I need to show all of them. So I select these and voila. I have my chart ready in seconds. That was way faster than before. Uh, and just to just to make sure that the synchronization synchronization bit works, I'm going to delete this item. Uh, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have bought those series, so I'm gonna return them. And now if I go back, I refresh my data. Let's give it a couple of seconds. Ah, here you go. So you can see the change has uh, has been synchronized and now my report goes back to what it was before. Now there you go guys. You can see that generating reports is much faster and much easier than if you would be using lists directly from SharePoint. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching.